Hello everyone. In our previous class, we have started your third chapter that is a disastrous dinner. And we have already finished the first few paragraphs of this chapter. Now, let me continue with the story and at first read it out for all of you. Feeling very much stressed herself, Jo hurried into the kitchen. She put on a big apron and was about to begin to work when she discovered that the fire was out. She lit the fire and put the water to heat. She decided to go to the market while the water was heating. In a while, Jo returned home again after buying a very young lobster, some very old asparagus and two boxes of very sore strawberries. By that time, he, the stove was red hot. The girls felt even more helpless when they saw their mother go out. To make matters worse, Miss Crocker appeared and said she would come to dinner. She was thin with a sharp nose and curious eyes. She saw everything and gossiped about all she saw. Soon, Jo discovered it was not easy to be a cook. She boiled the asparagus for an hour, making them perfectly inedible. The bread burned black. The lobster was overcooked to a bright red color. The potatoes were left somewhat raw in the hurry. The jelly turned out clumpy and the strawberries were sore because of being unripe. It is so disappointing to spend your whole morning for nothing, thought Jo as she called everybody for dinner. She stood hot, tired and disheartened, looking at the feast spread before her. She was so certain Miss Crocker's sharp tongue would report it far and wide. Poor Jo, she was embarrassed because all her dishes were tasted and left uneaten. Emmy giggled and Mac looked distressed, and Miss Crocker pursed her lips. Laurie, the neighbor's boy, talked and laughed to make the scene look cheerful. Jo was sure that her dessert was good, for she had sugared it well and had a jug of rich cream to eat with it. So students, this much will be enough for today. Now, let us tell you in detail whatever we have read today. So students, in the last class, we got to know that Jo took the responsibility from Mac to prepare the dinner. And in order to do so, she went to the kitchen and put on her apron. Apron means the cloth that usually someone wears while cooking. So after that, she noticed that the fire was out. And then she lit the fire and put the water to heat. And while heating the water, she decided to go to the market. So students, will you ever do, will you go somewhere or to go something, buy something uh, while putting something on the fire? Obviously, we will not do it. We know that how much dangerous it is. But as Jo, she had never been to kitchen, she doesn't know that all these things. That's why she put the um, kettle hot, I means kettle of water on the fire and she went out to buy something. Then after a while, she returned home again after buying some old asparagus. Students here I have, uh, you can see the asparagus. It is a plant uh, which is uh, eaten by people as a delicacy. And two boxes of strawberries. And when she returned, she found that the stove was red hot because it was on the fire for more than a, 
an hour then uh, she found it very uh, helpless when she saw that her mother was going out somewhere and to make the matter more worse miss crocker came to their house and she told that um, she is coming for dinner today she was a thin lady and whatever she saw in their house she just gossiped it out all outside with the means other neighbors means she told, said all the happenings at their home with the other neighbors then the dinner time came but uh, do you know how did uh, jo cooked she burnt the black uh, sorry bread completely black and the lobster students you know what is a lobster still i have mentioned a photo picture of a lobster here and, and she overcooked the lobster and left the potatoes raw and the strawberries that she got from the market was totally sour so students means she made a horrible food and after some time she is called all her sister and miss crocker also came and one of their a neighbor boy that is lorry he also came there for the dinner and jo then served the dinner to them after everyone tasted the dinner they left it uneaten because the dinner was very horrible and jo became very much embarrassed because of because of this embarrassments horrible cooking then the lorry means the neighbor boy he was laughing because he was trying to make this serious atmosphere into a cheerful one but after uh, eating all the delicacies then it it was the turn of the dessert and jo thought that he, her dessert will be very good because she know that she had uh, sugared I mean she has put the sugar um, on her dessert very well and she had a jug full of rich cream to eat with it that's why he was she, uh, she was very sure that her dessert was a good one so this much we have read today only so students what do you think how will be her dessert it will be a good one or a bit bad one so the answer of this question we will get it tomorrow now students here i have mentioned the word meanings from yesterday's um paragraphs the first one is no jo which means not easy number b is larder which means cupboard number c is bitter which means sharp taste and number d is scorched which means burnt so students uh, this is the end of our today's class and in the end of this class again we have got two tasks one is to identify the difficult words from this few paragraphs and comment me in the comment section and the second task is your home assignment please try to do it by yourself as for now thank you so much